Hello and welcome. Now we are here again with another predicted change. Now we are going to study the effect of decrease in fixed cost. If the fixed cost decreases by 10%. Uh, in the previous lecture we covered the study of the effects of increase in fixed cost. Now decrease. What? Let us check what happens. First of all, the fixed cost or revised fixed cost will be now 30,000. Decrease means minus 10% means rupees 3,000. So the revised fixed cost will be now rupees 27,000 against the existing of 30,000. But it will have no effect on, on selling price. There is no automatic effect of change in variable cost or fixed cost in selling price. Selling price changes only if as an owner or as a management of the company or firm we change the selling price then only the selling price changes so no effect on selling price so it is 10 again per unit similarly there is no automatic effect of change in fixed cost on the variable cost so variable cost is also going to remain same rupees 6 per unit since there is no change in selling price or variable cost as its effect, the contribution per unit is also not going to change. It will remain 10 minus 6 rupees, 4 per unit. But this is the result, so we need to write the comment about the change unchanged. Because fixed cost has no direct role on calculation of contribution per unit. Similarly, Fixed cost has no direct role on calculation of PV ratio also. So it is also going to remain unchanged. Now let us check what is going to happen with BEP or break even sales. First of all, break even sales quantity, fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Since the fixed cost has direct role on calculation of break even sales quantity, it must check. 27,000 rupees is the revised fixed cost and unchanged contribution is rupees 4 per unit. So the break even sales quantity under the revised or new situation comes to 6750 units. See what has exactly happened. Because of decrease of 10% in fixed cost, the break even point is also decreased by 10%. 7500, its 10% is 750. The new break even point is less by 750 against the existing break even point. In case of break even sales volume, see the same thing. 6750 into unchanged selling price of 10 so it is rupees 67500 that is exactly 10% less than the existing break even sales value ultimate effect is decrease that is good for the financial health of the firm the profit making situation comes at earlier stage because from zero we shall reach the sales of 6750 units before reaching the 7500 and we can also say that now under the new situation the sales of 7500 will give us the profit because it will be greater than our break even point now margin of safety sales minus BEP let us first calculate margin of safety quantity Sales quantity 10,000 per period minus break even 0.6750 so it comes to 3,250 that has increased from 7 2,500 units. Similarly margin of safety value will be now 6,750 units into one change selling price of rupees 10 so it will be rupees 67,500 against I'm very sorry. 3250 to 10 very sorry 
So it will be 32,500 against 25,000. The profit giving part of the sales has increased. So the profit has to increase. That we will check in the last day. But first let us calculate sales required to earn a profit of rupees 5000. Since we need to calculate sales, we will use the term required fixed cost plus profit upon or profit desired upon contribution per unit. Uh, fixed cost is now under the new situation 27,000 plus 5,000 upon rupees 4. So it is ultimately rupees 32,000 divided by rupees 4 per unit. So it comes to 8,000 units. Under the existing situation, sales of 8,750 units gives us the profit of rupees 5,000. But under the new situation, if the fixed cost decreases by 10%, sales of only 8,000 units will give us the profit of rupees 5,000. So to earn the same amount of profit, we need 750 units to sell less. By selling 750 units less, we are going to make the same amount of profit. Amount is 80,000. So it has decreased. So it is good for the financial health of the firm. And last, profit on selling 10,000 units. And as we know that no change in selling price, variable, cost contribution, etc. Sales equals to the same formula, fixed cost plus profit. But since we are going to calculate one of the three components of the formula, we are not using the term required. We will use or we should use the term required only if we are calculating sales through this formula. Yes, sales 10,000 units. If we substitute PV ratio in this formula, that will give us the answer directly in terms of value or say in terms of currency. If we use contribution per unit in all these formulae, then it gives us the answer in terms of quantity or number of units. If we use PV ratio instead of contribution per unit, the answer will be in terms of value or rupees. So cross multiplication is rupees 40,000 equals to 27,000 plus profit. This equation ultimately gives the result that profit will be rupees 13,000. That means profit increases on same sales. What is the ultimate conclusion? At present profit is 10,000 rupees. If fixed cost decreases by 10%, that means by 10% of 30,000, that means by 3,000 rupees, the profit increases exactly by 3,000 rupees. So, we can say that the change in fixed cost directly affects break even point, it decreases BEP, margin of safety, it increases margin of safety, required sales to one same amount of profit, it decreases and profit ultimately increases by the same amount. That's it. Thank you very much.